Welcome back folks, this is Casey Conley with Two Tankards. Today we're going to take a look at the MakerMade 2.8 watt laser. It is made by JTEC, so stay tuned. Alright, taking a look at what comes in the kit here, you get your standard MakerMade sticker, the Iconic sticker that comes with all components. You have your laser mounting bracket, set of standard cables, a resistor with a screwdriver for mounting to the dew board. Then you have another bag of assorted components that has the laser focal adjustment tool in it. You also have your power supply, a set of laser resistant goggles. You have the JTEC laser itself, the JTEC laser control board, as well as an emergency stop button. It's also nice to note that on the control board for the JTEC laser, it comes with a set of keys to lock out the board for emergency and safety purposes. All right, to start the install, first we're gonna take the laser mounting bracket and the JTEC laser. The front of the JTEC laser, where the glass is, goes on the short side of the laser bracket. Insert, push it all the way down until it stops. Next, take the assembly with the maker made symbol on the bottom and slide it into your router mounting bracket then tighten your two bracket bolts. All right, now that the laser is mounted on my M2 sled, the next component will be the wiring. The first stage of the wiring, I will utilize the JTEC laser driver, the two cables in the large bag. One is the laser cable, the other is the fan cable, both are 15 feet long. The next one is the small cable from this bag located in there. This one is the laser driver cable. With your cables laid out, next you take your JTEC laser driver. Make sure this switch is all the way to the right towards these green LEDs. The large 15 foot cable with the clear Molex goes on the first clip the first plug, then the next 15 foot smaller cable, this is the fan cable, goes to the set, the inside pin connector there. This cable set off to the side. Next, take your Maker Made dew board and motor shield and connect the laser driver cable with the black Molex connector to the end of your motor shield connector. To do that, you take the resistor and insert it into the 12 volt component here. The next one will be the black ground wire. It goes in the ground terminal here. And then the third terminal, which says laser, LZR, gets the red cable and the other side of the resistor. Tighten them down and reassemble. Next, the cable you just installed with the resistor on the MakerMade dew board and shield. It will plug into the back of the JTEC laser driver. The black Molex connector goes into the second port here on the laser driver. All right, now that you have all your wiring done, you're ready to take all your components and mount them to the wall. Mount them in a fashion to where you have good cable management and good access to all the components. The last component in wiring is installing your e-stop. The end of your e-stop is just a raw wire. It goes in the front of the JTEC laser controller. The black wire here goes towards the switch and the key. The red wire goes up here towards the reset button. To do this easier, this part will unplug from the unit so you can remove it, put your wires in, then plug it back in. Then just mount your e-stop switch wherever you want. And here is a shot of the final assembly with all the power modules connected, all the cables connected, everything is plugged in. My e-stop is connected down at the bottom. I have all the cabling running through my overhead beam. It comes over off the end. I still have my wire bundle 
to quick change out for my router. The cables for the laser come down. I plugged them in and now they are connected to the laser on the sled. All right, folks, that's it. Front to back installation and assembly on the M2 sled. Took about an hour and a half. Stay tuned for our next video, which will be properly focusing the laser on the M2 sled. And as always, if you like our content, click like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.